May we pray. Father God, we come before you with thanksgiving in our heart. Thanking you for this day and all the blessings you bestowed upon us. We come, Father, with a special request that you continue to bless our veterans near and far and allow their family to continue to be supportive for their needs. Bless our leaders, our country, our world. In Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, a time to keep. Time to cast away, a time to rend, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. What profit have he that work and that for end he labored? I have seen the prevail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. I read for you Ecclesiastes chapter chapter number three, verses one through ten. May the Lord have a blessing for the reading and hear of his word. There have been so many things that have happened in our country here recently, but God has sustained us and he kept our nation free. All of us have fond memories who served in the United States military. Of my past, and I walked in this building and gave me a fond remembrance of Fort Jackson and all that I've gone through up there. One, it's cold out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Even through the things that we've gone through in the military, we can still say we're proud to be Americans. We're proud of who we are. We're proud of what we what we represent. On the 11th hour of the 11th month, the fighting of World War I ended in 1918. Due to the conclusion of the war, ending all wars, November 11th became a universal, recognized day of celebration. The day was originally declared as Amnesty Day. Eight years after the end of World War I, only the veterans of that war. Then in 1954, after World War II and the end of the Korean War, it was renamed Veterans Day to honor all veterans, all veterans who served in America in war and defended the democracy of the United States of America. So today, today, we honor all of our veterans. All of our veterans who accepted and placed themselves in the line and in line for our freedom. Those men and women who were ordinary people until they heard the call of duty and they answered the call. And those that are here today who answer the call, we ask that you please stand at this time. That's the call. Everyone should feel the benefit of freedom. We can do it by volunteering. 
volunteering out in our communities, or teaching our children what freedom really means and what it means to be an American. <coughs> what it means to be an American. And I don't know about you, but I'm proud. Yes, I'm proud sir. to be an American. Yes, sir. I'm proud to have served in the United States Army. Yes, I'm proud to be free on today. Yes. We talk about freedom, but Freedom is really not free because there have been so many sacrifices. And now I ask that we just pause just for a moment in the remembrance of the veterans that did make it that long, the one who sacrificed it all. At this time, we take a moment of silence for them. Thank you very much. Thank you for honoring our veterans. Thank you all who have put this program together. Let us walk toward tomorrow, still honoring our veterans by living the life of freedom. We protect our country. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America. Amen. Amen.